let me let me let me just point this out real quick. When it comes to Boo Bear, you are the very first person that I'm going to speak and talk about you with about him. You know what I mean? Cause it's very very touchy subject. It's very sticky, and that right there, I tend to not to um not to uh, tolerate any motherfucking wrong talking about that man's name or his person. You know what I mean? Cause that's how dear I am to him. You know what I mean? Like true brothers, the man is a man of respect, and he was a fighter. The man was a true warrior. He's a true champion at heart, and he was very intelligent. And plus, he was a thinker. You know what I mean? He was a, he was a straight up leader, man. That was born to fight. Was very skilled, nice with his hands, man. Very crafty. He was a craft man, man. You know what I mean? And he was very sharp in math, mathematics. Mm. But when it came to him being in school or whatever, you know what I'm saying? The teacher would throw you a math test or something like that. He'd just zip right through the math test and zoom right through it. Next thing you know, the paperwork is right there up on the teacher's desk. He done completed and finished the whole math test. You know what I mean? Mm. That's how. That's how. That's how shrewd he was. And his his a lot of people don't know that though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never knew stuff like that. This is why I be needing to talk to dudes like you, cause I never knew yeah, stuff man. like that. Man, these gems, man. Whatever, whatever information I give you, man, is for you. You know what I mean? If it, 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 it could go, it could go throughout the planet. It could go, it could go global. It could go public, wherever. But I'm, I'm giving it to you from, 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 from a young, a younger brother from the projects where I grew up at, you know what I mean? That raised me, where my roots is at, you know what I mean? I always go back to my roots. That's the reason I was over there a second ago, because I had to go back to my roots, breathe, look around, and observe, you know what I mean? And and, 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 and just keep everything in memory, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a very sharp memory. That's one thing about me. Even though after I did that long bid, I always kept a very sharp, strong memory, man. And that's key, you know what I mean? How much time you did straight again? Man, St. Lads, man. Man. Man, I gotta man, I I, I got I gotta breathe on this one, man. First bid, St. Lads, they gave me six to eighteen, man. I maxed out eighteen years, man. I did everything on Damn. the max out, man. Damn. Yeah, man. Every time I went to go make an appearance and reappearance. From the first board all the way to the sixth board, they kept hitting me. So 24 they, months. They took good Two time. They, they took good time for you. You had like mad tier man, threes or something. Man, Gilmore and them people, man. I was catching. I was catching all type of tier threes, man. I was catching all type of tickets, they lads, man. Weapons tickets. I was fighting tickets. Everything, all type, everything, man. Bird, man. Harassment, oh, they was writing me up for all type of shit, man. But the thing about it is, I got lucky. This is where I got lucky at. Cause they caught me with a half a ox inside my sneaker. Mm. Going a motherfucking wreck. Word up, man. What, what jail was that? I was in, that was in Southport at the time. I was in and out of SAQ at the time, you know what I mean? That was in the box, man. That was in Southport. Yeah, man, and that was 1998. Know what I mean? Mm. I was there in 1997 too. Know what I mean? But the thing is, see, the thing about me, St. Laz, I don't run from shit. I don't run from nothing. Cause I know that bid that I did wasn't for me, man. That wasn't my bid to do. Know what I'm saying? One crime I did, the other crime I didn't do. But they ran all that shit together, concurrent, consecutive. And that motherfucking judge, when that judge seen, oh, this nigga on some attempted murder on NYPD type shit. Oh, I'm giving, the judge told me, nigga, you go to trial, you blow, I'm giving you everything. Man, so that's, therefore I was forced to cop out on the motherfucking crime that I didn't commit, man. On one of them, you know what I mean? Word up, man. I was framed all the way around the motherfucking board, man. That shit got me pissed off to this fucking day, man. You that mean, shit fucked my life up. 
It fucked my generational. It fucked up my grandchildren life, my daughter life. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is like a fucking trickle down effect. Word up, man. So like they, what they, man. what they, they lied and said that you shot police? Yeah, man. Talking about started going around with the cop shot mobile with a big ass picture post on the side of the cop shot mobile. Driving through Brownsville projects everywhere, all the PJs in motherfucking Brownsville. What year was that? With my, what, that's 1992, man. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that clear man. as day. I remember that clear as day. That you now that you mention that, I remember '92. That cop shot van was going crazy. Yo, man, that messed my, that ruined my life, man. That's that right there, single handedly. That that shit just cold fucked my whole life up, man. It took my youth. It stole my youth from me. You know what I mean? It stole a whole bunch of time from me, and it stole time from me being in my daughter's life and raising my seed. You know what I mean? Now she got a grand, a grand son of mine. You know what I mean? Mm. Word up! That 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 I ain't, I didn't see yet. I don't I don't I don't know his name or no nothing. That shit is like I I I take that as disrespect. You know what I mean? By the time I got home, she was graduating, going to her prom, her senior prom, man. That's how much time I did. That shit wasted my life, man. Word up! Even though I got skilled in there, you know what I mean? Learned some things, mostly. Being in there, man, learning by mistakes. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, learning by mistakes. Just kept that shit was like 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 a fucking learning mechanism. Or dudes in, in, inside there, dudes inside the motherfucking matches or whatever population you going through. It was like, yo, you, you might hear a few dudes. I know I heard a few, couple dudes, a few dudes. Yo, man, jail make you a man. Jail make you a man. I said, man, jail don't make no fucking man. You could be a man in society. You could be a man in the street. You know what I mean? Don't 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 never tell let nobody tell you that jail make you a man. You you come to jail, you read a bunch of books, you read literature, okay. You could be in the street reading a bunch of literature. You know what I'm saying? Consuming the science and, and knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Getting your mind right, getting your vision right in order, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Word up, man. You prefer to be you prefer to be raising if you if you got a son or daughter, you prefer to be out there. You know what I mean? Feeding them. Feeding your children, man. They got mad cause I got away. So being that I got away, then I threw, I threw my weapon, you know what I mean? And the dude almost had me. The motherfucking long leg ass fucking pussy ass cop that was chasing me on the side, out the side of his door. Cause when they rolled up on me, he had the squad car, blue and white car from 92, the square, the square box car that they had back then mm -hmm. and he rolled up he rolled up in the projects with no headlights and so i'm on a pedal bike i'm just cooling because we bought two pedal bikes from the old bike shop right there with the old dread you know what i mean on mother gas and mm. picking and now we driving through but i didn't belong over there at that time because they was looking for me you know what I mean? For a robbery. For my old boss, the nigga fired me. I got pissed off. And uh, I pistol whipped the motherfucker. I tied him up. I duct taped him, pistol whipped him. He fired me without no pay. And at the time, my soon to be wife, my daughter's mother, she was, she was pregnant, nine months pregnant at the time. So I got pissed off. And I tied the dude up, let the dude have it. And I snatched this motherfucking wallet, you know what I mean? Cause, oh, of course he fired me. But I should have left that fucking bullshit ass job any fucking way. You know what I mean? But in any event, as they was proceeding, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to motherfucking pursue me. And me and Tall Boy was over there standing by the motherfucking gate over there where they used to shoot dice at. Over there near the phone and shit, right? Where everybody used to hang out at. Or a lot of people used to be over there at the time at that moment and so it was nighttime and so this that officer name was smalls i got him on my police report too man so when when i shoot my scene i want that whole scripture to be right and let these people know you know what i'm saying the way i'm putting it forth to the public is to show them how they railroaded me man they did me third that precinct even though it's nothing new under the sun, they did many men dirty. You know what I'm saying? 
they they used to step inside Dobie's the limelight used to be a club right there on the other side of uh, Mother Gas and right across the street from from Howard and yeah, shit. You talking about and right where that little to, right where that little mechanic spot is at? Right where the mechanic spot is at, right there. Every Friday, every Saturday night, the police used to roll up in there and walk out with a bag of money every Saturday night. That's how corrupt the motherfuckers were. Mm. And they driving from up the street. Yeah, man. With an old school supermarket paper bag full of money and just walk out like nothing never happened and shit, man. And then the motherfuckers going and, and railroad me talking about that I shot at him. I didn't take no fucking shot at him. Nobody got in the fucking ambulance. No ambulance was called or nothing. And then the motherfuckers falsified evidence and all this because they had my weapon. So they tried to use that bullshit. But my weapon wasn't fired that night because my shit was on safety. When it hit the ground, my shit still was on safety. They bust the shot after I got away. And he grabbed the top of my collar, you know what I'm saying, to my army coat, and he hit the ground. After he hit the ground, I continued running. The stupid asshole must have fired a shot or one of his backup reinforcements must have fired a shot. You know what I mean? So I, I've been a fugitive ever since then for like a month. You know what I'm saying? A month and a half. A month and some change, man. Yeah, man, it, it was real ugly, man. The way they did it, man, on some demonic shit to get me, man. Word up. It's some crazy, sellout, man. some coon ass sellout shit. Yeah, man, shit, the shit, the, I'm just, just disgusted behind it. The dudes I mean? is filthy, man. They filthy. Even when I caught my case, you feel me? I'm in there for an accident, and these dudes, they, I'm 16 years old. You know, this is before it was cameras in the interrogation room. You know what I mean? Like, these dudes pulling out their gun, pointing a loaded gun at me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, telling me, so how was you pointing the gun? And they pointing the gun at my face, like, to try to scare me up laughing and shit like that telling my moms i ain't never coming home at my mom's come to the precinct crying her eyes out and they telling her your son ain't never coming home like i'm like just foul greaseball not me devil type of shit that the 73rd was doing man they was just some foul that whole dudes system is garbage from top to bottom like like straight up man that that precinct done fucked up a lot of real grown men lives, man. Straight up, I'm talking about from framing them, throwing bodies on niggas, and all type of trifling, foul, bitch, pussy-ass cop police shit. Work up, man. That's, man. 